right, so patch six drop. You might be wondering, Agent, why are you wearing the same shirt? Listen, it's laundry day. It's going on downstairs. I right, allow me. It's been three days straight with the same shirt, yo. Y'all probably seen the patch notes. You're thinking the same thing I was thinking, like, why is there only like seven things on here? All of which is wildly irrelevant. The highlight of which is Michael Jordan's tongue should now look more Mike-like. What is, what is Mike-like? What is that exactly? Somebody replied to me on Twitter with this. <laughs> 35th time. I'm not buying VC. Stop, stop it 2K. Now anybody who does like marketing or sales, immediately when you see a sales tactic, you're like, I see you trying to sell me. This is scarcity, 2K. I see it. I right, you're pretending like there's a timer when we know damn well that you're fine with us buying VC at any time to pressure me into buying VC. I get it. We don't have to see the ad every single time, man. I'll be in the middle of a pro-am game. You'd be like, uh, it's, a, it's the fourth quarter and, and 2K will pop up an ad like, hey, do you want to buy VC now? I'm like, no, I'm in the middle of an intense game. Leave me alone, Mike Way. Like, it's all small stuff. It doesn't make sense to drop an entire patch on this. This could have waited until the next patch, which actually had some sort of substance. Unless, of course, 2K didn't put everything in the notes, right? I've heard from a couple people that the animation glitch is no longer working. I don't know how true that is, uh, but I guess that makes sense. If they were gonna patch something, it would be that. I don't think they should patch it because now the people that did the glitch have an eternal advantage and the guys who didn't do the glitch are put at a massive disadvantage. 2K said the trivia will be re-enabled in the 2K. Why is this the second patch that had something to do with the trivia and the patch notes? Does anybody play this thing? <laughs> we got the browser. He playing pick and win him. Or why you, you pronounce it? Pick him, do him. You be playing the game mode where you pick stuff, all right? Let's see, man. Hold on. Open up the trivia app. What is this? Is this how it's supposed to go? Do I have to like wait for the countdown to like hit zero? There was a patch note a couple patches ago about this mini hoop basketball thing. I don't know nobody who has like free time and they're like, you know what I could be doing? I could be doing anything else with my time. Any other game. I could be doing, I could be outside. But I could, in fact, I could be at Chuck E. Cheese doing this in real life. But I'm gonna do this in 2K. <laughs> When does this end? I'm tired of clicking square, man. Can we address the stuff that's really concerning? Like how I have way more latency on Pro-Am than on the park? I didn't even think that was previously possible. I played my first park game. I was trying to record this earlier and the recording bugged out. I was playing a game though, the conditions were prime. I just think there's so much more issues. People can call timeouts on the Pro-Am when they don't have possession of the ball. There's a glitch on the Xbox where if you do a drop step, it dead ass kicks people out the game. The dribbling is weird this year. Your guy literally moves hands, like he'll dribble to this hand and you never once asked him to do that. Comp team is literally setting screens in the restricted area, catching the ball and putting up dunk. But it's like, they, they just make it so easy for people to want to cheese. Like I'm a pure sharp, I'm walking around with my pure sharp right now. And when I'm dribbling with the basketball, there is no reason for me not to snatch back every chance I get because it creates guaranteed room. They removed the step back from the game last year, so now when you step back, you step back like a weirdo. You click back on the left stick and square and your guy does a weird little step back and a lot of the time when it's smothered, he turns the ball over on a step back. So there's definitely things that you know in gameplay wise can be addressed. Obviously the servers, I feel like it's gonna be a consistent issue that always 24 seven needs to be addressed. I was playing a Pro-Am game yesterday. Now I hate losing on the Pro-Am. Our Pro-Am team is 63 and four. Four of those losses, three of them came because I was running weirdo lineups against sus teams we should have never lost. Now one of those losses came yesterday on some BS like this. I'm trying to tip it. No way. No. Has it counted? That should never hit under any circumstances. Someone tried to tell me it's because you're a pure sharpshooter agent. What? What? What are you talking about? Are you the same person complaining? You can't shoot consistently sharpshooters as OP. You're that guy now turning around saying it's because you're a sharpshooter. You head ass. Don't say dumb.
like that? There's no reason. There's never a reason for that shot to hit ever. Can we talk about, can we change the slider on that? That doesn't even need a patch. That just needs a, a slider adjustment. We still can't skip cutscenes. Every time we make a new player, we gotta sit through the whole thing. You gotta wait like through five minute cutscenes sometimes just to get a my court game with your friend. I mean, the my court itself has a whole bunch of glitches all to itself. There be times where someone's in my my court I go in my jump shot creator, I come back out, and everybody disappeared. There's plenty of glitches on my court where you can't even start up games even though there's people in your court. They don't register that they're in your court. I was playing a 1v1 like last week on the my court, and three times in a row it just said connection lost and randomly kicked us out of games. There's so much other things that we could be worrying on when you see a patch note drop with like none of the stuff that you know probably should be getting addressed. You're like, that's kind of ridiculous. I'm consistently trash at these, man. I don't know if it's just because like I'm a pure sharp, but it'd be cool. Like, if I can go up for crazy dunks, it'd be really cool. Uh, you know, I get that the level of difficulty is gonna be a little higher. I'm a sharp shooter and all. Hold on though, I'm killing it right now. I'm about to destroy my record right now, man. Oh my god! I just beat my record, and we got an additional 10 seconds. Listen, I'm getting gas! Yo, I can't miss! I'm killing it. Let's get an excellent release. Can you excellent release these dunks? Ah, I just did it! <laughs> Yo! This is the best by far I've ever done. Oh, I missed the dunk, damn it. I don't have time to waste like that, Agent. Get back on your any game! Green light. The green light, I think, is like 50 points. Oh my. Oh, that was a bad dunk. Agent, I need to get an excellent so I can extend the timer, or else this is my last dunk. Oh! I didn't extend it! Green! Okay! 344! I almost doubled my previous bat. That was... Hey, in, a, in, in the next patch, can we like speed up the bikes and the skateboards? I feel like everybody would appreciate that. There was somebody on Twitter that was excited. They said, Agent, the shoe glitch, it, it been bugging me and it was in the patch notes. It's finally fixed, Agent. That made me so happy. I was like... At least there's one person happy about it, man. Anyway, uh, yo, if y'all been missing the crazy stream moments, like that game winner BS that happened, I immediately quit the stream after that. I'm gonna leave a Twitch link in the description. I was also killing the game on Rainbow Six, that stream as well. And actually, I'm gonna be streaming UFC 3 later tonight. Twitch link in the description. Follow my Instagram. I'm gonna be giving away some UFC 3 beta codes on there. So if you guys want the codes, go ahead, do that. Uh, and that's about it. I'm gonna catch you guys later. I'm out. Peace.